What's up everybody, it's Asim Media again on the channel. In today's video, I'm so excited to share with you how to read a calendar using a smart theory. By using a smart theory, it helped me to be among the best students in the university. So at the end of this video, I will be able to see how I make my calendar using a smart theory for my first year, first semester, second semester, and my second year, first semester. This technique was developed by Edwin Locke in 1981. Let's get started. <laughs> For you to know how to use a SMART principle, you need to know what the SMART word means. X stands for specific, M measurable, A acceptable, R realistic, and T time bound. So how can you start by using a SMART theory? Start by using an agenda begin with today and the upcoming six days. First, you have to write down all the study appointments. For me here, I write each all my study appointments in blue. So anywhere you see this color is a lecture time. Also here in this uh, EGR2204 is my practical time, you see this color and this color, they are all my story appointment. Then the second delay, you have to round the already flan and the important social appointment. Everywhere you see a green, you see this green prayer, Jumad Mocks, YouTube channel, 10 to 10, it's all my special appointment. This will be preparation for going to school, riding to bicycle. It's all my appointments that I know I will not, they are always there, they, I cannot skip them. So that's why I already uh, add them on my calendar. The next step is to write down the necessary time to relax. Yeah, this timetable is for an engineering student. Since I was an engineering student, I don't have a lot of time to take a rest because there is a lot of lots and creative courses and there's a lot of course practicals, so many things to do. So I didn't get a chance to have it. Necessary time to last, but what I did is every one hour of studying, I will take five minutes of break, or every two hours of studying, I will take a 10 minute of break. That is how I used to relax because I don't have specific necessary time to last. The next thing is to write down the safe study time. Yeah, you have to write down which and when are you going to study. Then you see anywhere you see a different color other than this uh, blue and this orangey, they are all my study time. So each subject, I give it a different color. So let's see if I'm using a smart students for in my timetable. To be speaking, it's all asking yourself a good question. Like, what exactly will I be doing? It's a specific. Where will I study? It's either home, library. How will I start? What material do I need? This is all about specific. For me here, yeah, I read exactly what will I be doing. You see here, it's 2207. I know it's uh, it's PE. First of all, electrical engineering. You see here, it's a... Uh, 2301 engineering mathematics and where will I study because here is a already planned calendar I don't have to write the MBNU but anyway I write it's TTA and TTB it's our BNU doing theater and uh, here between 4 and 6 I used to go to the engineering library because they are closing by 6 so that's why I used to only be there by from 4 to 6 when they close I go to main library then I will be staying there from around 6 to 9 or 6 to 10 what material do I need when I want to study with a book rather than laptop I, I will rather go to the internet library but when i go to the main library i will use my laptop for everything i have all my textbook in my laptop and the next thing is measurable measurable is all about how i know i understood the subject read when you repeat when you make note it's all about measurable the next thing is acceptable you have to ask yourself a question like am i free fair to start studying this subject where even when i don't feel like it like this time uh, from 10 to 12, so I know most of the people are already still a bit stuck. But I already uh, told myself that no matter what, but no matter what I'm doing, I have to study. When you add an event here, when you add a time for you to study here, you have to make sure that you accept it. You will do it no matter what. Don't overdo your task. If you know you cannot do it, just do it the way you can. Manage it. The next thing is realistic. Realistic is all asking yourself a good question like, uh, will I certainly have enough time to study? those material these books i think one hour for making notes uh the next time it should be for reading test the next thing is time bound when will you start and when will you stop each month and table of my calendar and there is no way that there is no beginning and end everywhere you see from 8 to 10 is a lecture time from 7 to 9 it's a library time it's, it's a time for studying engineering mechanics uh the next thing that i didn't mention is that when i'm making my calendar if i have a two credit course I will give it a two more hours than the rest. If I have a three credit course, I will give it a three times than the rest. If I have a one credit course, I will give it a one credit time. Uh, although I don't have a one credit course here, all I have is two and three. But if I have a one, I will give it a one hour for story. Now I have three, I will give it three hours for story. Uh, as you see here, the Monday or Tuesday, let's say on, on Tuesday here, 
we already study 2206 which is engineering thermodynamics and uh, engineering 2205 material science and uh, engineering mechanics all these subjects we already study they are all 2 2 and 3 credit so when i come to studying time i, I noticed these two material science road is good credit so i'll give it a 3 credit uh, two times and the rest so here it is this very purple color is my one hour and the next one hour is there the next thing is my material science i will read it here from 5 to 6 and then from 10 to 11. so also here for my three credit you see from here to i have it from 7 to 9 which is two hours and I also have it from it's a good to arrange your calendar according to your credit you, but you are feel free to personalize your calendar the way you can the way you want it this is just a guide for you to make your calendar your calendar is definitely different from this calendar yeah, the next thing I, uh, sorry, the last thing I, I forget to mention is during the weekend I will be refitting all my subsoil materials. It, uh, this is all revision. I will choose one day for revision. The rest day is for learning. For me, it's Sunday. At Sunday, I think all the subjects I was offering, I will make sure I read each and every one. I refit it and I read it and I revise it a lot and a lot. So this is my number 100 person start timetable. I use a similar smart principle in making this timetable. This is my second semester the 100 timetable. Also, I use a similar scenario and smart principle for making this timetable. Uh, I hope you have learned a lot about using a smart principle of making a smart timetable. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button to get our latest update. Until next time, keep striving for excellence.